Hello, I'm Adam Blount, Public Information Officer for the Reno Police Department. This critical incident community briefing is intended to inform you of an incident that occurred in the city of Reno involving Reno police officers. You're about to see relevant video footage and learn about other evidence and police procedures related to this case. This will give you a better understanding of the events that occurred that day based on what we know right now. This video is not intended to draw any conclusions on whether or not the involved officers acted consistently with our policies or law until the facts are known and the investigation is complete. A word of caution, the images and information you're about to see may be disturbing. When a police officer uses force to arrest a suspect or defend against an attack, it can be graphic and difficult to watch. In addition, there may be strong language used by those in the video. Viewer discretion is advised, especially for young children and sensitive viewers. Uniformed Reno police officers who have regular contact with the public are equipped with body-worn cameras, which are generally affixed to the front of the officer's uniform. The camera captures video 30 seconds before the officers actually activate the camera, but this does not capture any audio. This feature is designed to record incidents when the officer does not have time to activate the camera. My name is Oliver Miller and I'm a Deputy Chief with the Reno Police Department. Anytime an officer is involved in a shooting, it's our policy to have the incident investigated by an outside agency in accordance with the Washoe County Officer Involved Shooting Protocol. These investigations are complete and thorough. They typically include interviews of those involved, collection and review of any available recordings, and an examination of all the evidence. The investigating agency will evaluate the facts and evidence and submits the case in its entirety to the Washoe County District Attorney's Office for criminal review. The District Attorney's Office evaluates the case and determines whether or not any criminal charges are appropriate. After the review, the Washoe County District Attorney's Office provides a public report with their findings. The video provided in this briefing was captured by the body-worn cameras of the involved officers as well as the Reno Police Dispatch recording of the initial call for service. It's important to note that the body-worn cameras only provide a limited view and cannot capture everything an officer sees or experiences. On November 13, 2021, at 8.21 p.m., Reno police officers were dispatched to check for a suspicious subject that the reporting party found prowling in his yard. The reporting party further advised that the same subject was outside his residence earlier that day asking about a little girl that the reporting party did not know. Both of the incidents involving the suspicious subject were captured on ring video. The first two videos you are about to see were recorded at approximately 2.49 p.m. The final video was recorded at 8.14 p.m. just prior to the officer-involved shooting.
don't know. It was a weird feeling. I don't have no idea. He just said, hey, there was a little girl over here, and he started asking me about if I was into fitness, and... Oh. The subject fled in his car before officers arrived. The reporting party got in his car and followed the subject while updating dispatch of their location. Officers located the subject's car in the area of Plum Lane and Hunter Lake Drive and conducted a traffic stop on it. Two officers and one sergeant contacted the subject. The driver had partially rolled down his window one to two inches but refused to fully roll down the window and identify himself. Believing that the subject may have committed a crime at the reporting party's residence, the sergeant informed the subject that he was being lawfully detained and warned him that he would break his window if he continued to refuse to comply. The driver failed to comply with his directions and the sergeant attempted to break the driver's side window with the glass punch tool. When that failed, the sergeant grabbed the top of the window which was open just enough for his fingers to fit inside. With the sergeant holding on to the window, the suspect accelerated away. While clinging to the side of the vehicle, the sergeant ordered the suspect to stop the car or he would shoot. After driving with the sergeant clinging to the side of the vehicle for approximately 300 feet, the suspect finally stopped and the sergeant was able to free himself from the window. The suspect sped away in the car and the sergeant shot at him. The sergeant later told investigators that he feared the suspect would harm others due to the manner in which he was driving. Sam 388, Sam 374, Reno 1063. On Foster approaching Idlewild, party parties following a 1037 subject that was between the reporting party's residence and the neighbor's residence. I was on scene earlier asking about a little girl, reporting parties off duty J2 with RFD following in a silver Dodge pickup. And I guess the 1037 subject is actually in a vehicle, not on foot. It's a black Toyota or Kia four door sedan on Foster approaching Idlewild. Sam 388, Sam 274, and they're now eastbound Idlewild towards Idlewild Park. The suspect's a white male, 20 to 30 years of age, 6 foot stocky build, with described as clean cut, wearing a black hooded sweatshirt.
Stop region. Roll your windows down. Roll the windows down. Roll your fucking windows down. Roll your windows down, please. I can't hear what you're saying. Roll your window down. Huh? What did I do? Because we need to talk to you. And you're reaching. Okay, can you hand your ID through the window? Can you explain to me what law I violated? Okay. Huh? Can you explain to me what law I violated? Yeah, a resident is worried that you're... Hey, you're being detained. Roll the window down. You're being lawfully detained. For what? Be for a traffic stop. Because you were harassing somebody out of house. Roll the window down. Yeah, you were. Roll the window down. Roll it down or I'm going to break the window. Roll the window down or I'm going to break the window. Roll the window down or I'm going to break the window. You're being lawfully detained. I just told you. Stop region. Roll your windows down. Roll the windows down. Roll your fucking windows down. Roll your windows down, please. I can't hear what you're saying. Roll your window down. What? Huh? What did I do? Because we need to talk to you. You're and you're reaching. Right Okay, can you hand your ID through the window? Can you explain to me what law I violated? Huh? Can you explain to me what law I violated? Yeah, a resident is worried that you're... Hey, you're being detained. Roll the window down. You're being lawfully detained. For what? Be for a traffic stop. Because you were harassing somebody out of house. Roll the window down. Yeah, you were. Roll the window down. Roll it down or I'm going to break the window. Roll the window down or I'm going to break the window. Roll the window down or I'm going to break the window. You're being lawfully detained. I just told you. I'm 
turn off the car. He's reaching under the foot. Hey, you're being detained. Roll the window down. You're being lawfully detained. For what? Be for a traffic stop. For what? Because you were harassing somebody at a house. Roll the window down. Them? Yeah, you were. Roll the window down. I want Roll it down, or I'm going to break the window. If he has black lines in his house. Roll the window down, or I'm going to break the window. For Roll what? the window down, or I'm going to break the window. You're being lawfully detained. For what? I just told you. Stop! 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 Stop the car! Stop the car! Stop the car! I'm gonna shoot! Stop the car! 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 Reno Sam 380 shots fired. Suspect last seen. Westbound, I'm sorry, eastbound. I'm okay. Copy shots fired, suspect last seen eastbound, plum, plum. You good? I'm okay. Not okay. Black 14, WMA. Let's uh, do me a favor. This yours? That's mine, leave it. Yeah. Close the street off. Yeah, close the street off. A few minutes later, an uninvolved citizen in the area of Plum Lane and Lakeside Drive reported that a vehicle had just arrived in the parking lot with a subject inside who had been shot. Officers responded to that location where they found the suspect and the vehicle from the traffic stop. Officers immediately began providing medical aid to the suspect. He was then transported to a local hospital where he was treated for non-life-threatening injuries sustained during the incident. The Washoe County Sheriff's Office is the investigating agency for this incident and the involved sergeant is currently on administrative leave during this ongoing investigation. The suspect was later booked on unrelated felony charges by the Sparks Police Department. In the coming months, the Reno Police Department's Office of Internal Affairs will review all relevant information and make a determination as to whether the officer's tactics, drawing and use of a deadly weapon, and use of force were within policy and standardized procedures of the Reno Police Department. Those findings will be submitted to the Chief of Police for review in accordance with the Reno Police Department policy. This body-worn camera footage has been made available to our community to keep you informed. Any additional camera footage will be made available at the conclusion of the formal investigation. The Reno Police Department takes these incidents very serious and treat them accordingly. For questions or additional information regarding the Reno Police Department or our policies, please visit www.renopd.com. Thank you.